Hey, it's Henry the Computer Guy. I'm back with Excel. Today, we're actually going to talk about graphs. So, I talked about these ones in my previous video. So, I don't expect someone to ask me what sum is, how did I do the sum, average rank, VLOOKUP, page lookup, if statement. So, today, I'm actually going to talk about the graph. The graph. Let's say they have told you to do a graph of, let's say, names against the total. They can tell you, okay, let me remove these ones, and tell you to take, put a combined. Combined bar and line graph. So, how do you go about that? Specifically, these things are very simple. Now, don't ask me how I can get a VLOOKUP done that in my previous previous video the average the position the total and others so today let's talk about specifically how to put a insert a graph in our work now they have told you to draw a graph of lesson names against the top the total let's begin with that simple graph now what we do we are going to highlight our names so we don't include the total down so if you want to highlight the next column you have to press control because when you don't press control and just come and highlight that auto it is going to deselect this first one you have highlighted so whenever i come to this side it leaves the other one apart when i come this side it leaves the other one so what you do you're going to highlight the first column then press control long press i mean you press you don't leave the button long press then you come to the total and again you select it are we together now the two items we want to put onto our graph are selected are we together now we come to insert we look for what we call the you can put any chart of your type any chart so specifically we are talking about the chart the charts now under the charts we can talk about the bar we can talk about let me put this in one so that means that i come to my home i match them into one thing so I can align it to the left hand side. So now what we are going to do is to put a chart, but let's highlight our names. As I've told you, press control, long press. Then we come to our top, our total. Now we come to insert and look for any chart of our type we want to insert. Now let's insert some, some, some simple, simple ones. Let's begin with our, let's say, a, a pie chart. You can pick any of the charts that you really need. It will come as that. You can make it simple, smaller. So this is not my interest. Let me put it aside here. So this is not my interest. It is just a simple one. To put it aside, they can tell you to put, let's say, the labels and what and that. Now, let me come to what we call the bar graph. I want to talk about the bar graph, combined bar and line graph. But let's first do it when it is only one graph. Are we together? When it is just a single, not a combined. So what we do, let's come, assuming that we want to do a total names against the what? The total, we shall come and say this. We can pick any type of chart that we really want. Let's use this one. Let me remove this. So we want to put this. So it comes as that. Very simple. Are we together? It has come with its sources. We have down here, we have the names. Then up here, we have the what? The total. So it is a pie chart of names up. Total against what? Against names. So they can tell you to put the what? The heading. Of course, you can wrap this. Or you can come. Okay, I'm going to show you that in the after doing the, the combined band line. So you can put the axis whichever thing that they have asked you. This is very simple. Many of, us, many of us have ever done it before. But where the problem comes, they have told you you're going to do a combined bar and line graph. That means that you're carving this, but having a certain line passing through. If you have ever done geography, you always do those charts. Let me know. Let me hope this is not something new. You always do them. They ask you in geography, do a combined bar and line graph showing, let's say, rainfall against, let's say, temperature and what. So you do those things. Now here we are doing it practically onto our computer. What we do, we are going to come back and highlight what we need. 
We have said we are going to have names. We press control, don't leave it. Long press. We shall need the total. Again, we shall need the average. Average. Are we together? Now we have three items that we want to put onto our graph. Are we together? Now we come to what we call insert. When we come to insert, they're going to give us a variety of the items we can pick. Let me pick, let's first of all make it upper because we want upper column. Column, we want a combined bar and line one graph. So if we come here, we can pick all the items. Then let's say we need a column graph. Are we together? So we put this. After clicking on to our chart, it is going to bring these items like that. But remember, the question said we want a, a combined. That means that we are going to be having bars and a line passing through. For example, they can tell you any item they want to appear as a line graph, as a line. So now in my case here, I'm going to make the average as a line passing up here. So what we do, come on to your chart, select one of the bars representing the average because here we have a color representing the average click on any one of those what of those uh, bars that you're having into that chart after clicking on to them it will select all of them against the names and against the marks we are having here are we together all that, that we are having here now what we do we come on to our design up here we have something which says that change chart type. Are we together? When we click on change chart type, we are going to pick what we want to make something as a line. So I've said we need a line. Already I have the bars, I need the line. So I'm going to make, you can pick any type of line you want from the list here. Are we together? You can pick any. So after that, you click on this. So it is going to make the athlete in form of a line. Is it very difficult? So now they will ask you that after putting your chart, you're going to put a title. For a title, what do we do? We come to the layout. I've not said page layout, get me well. I've said layout, it is after the design. So when we come to the layout, it is going to show us many things we can change onto our chart. So they will tell you the first one is having chart title. You want to put the title for the chart? will come and say, where do you want it? Above, center, it comes. So you wrap these items, let's say, a combined. Combined bar and line graph of what against what? So you'll include those ones the way you want. It depends on what the questions or what the question wants. So they will tell you to put axis. You'll come back here, axis titles. Which one do you want? Do you want the horizontal? Do you want like this? You click on it. You will say, here I have my names. Then you come back. Where do you want? I want the vertical. Where do you want it? I want it as this. So this is going to be what? So let's say I'm assuming that I'm having the total as this side. So you put that water. So the legends are here. They can tell you to put the legends wherever they want. They, so you can come to the legends. More legends. You can ask you where do you want the legends to be? Do you want them to be down? Do you want them, do you want them to be on top? Do you want anything that is that they really say? So they have told you to be at the bottom, put them at the bottom. Many changes you can really make here. So specifically, that is what we call a combined bar and line graph. It is very simple. Yeah, it has changed my items, but let me put them back. I wanted them to be, let's say, let them be to the right. So yeah, my shape looks nice. That is it specifically for today. Thanks for watching. That one that has been a topic about the graph, a combined bar and line graph. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.